Okay, so um, some of the items that are in the same bank of questions, like this is a bank of questions um, about um, people's computer use. Not all of uses of computer are equally relevant for what we might think of preparation for a course like this. So um, what I've done is I've created a weighted um, index, and what I've done is I've kind of thought about how I want to score each of these. So this first question um, is like social networking on your computer, and I'm going to give that the minimum weight, which is one. And then email purposes is at least has some sort of academic and scholarly relevance, so I'm going to give that a two as a weight. And then um, using computer for school purposes, I'm going to even give that a three, an even higher weight. Um, and entertainment purposes, that's a one. Buying stuff, that's a one. Um, blogging, I'm going to give that a two because it might be possibly academic, kind of like the email. At least it's kind of a skill that might be helpful. Um, music, that gets a one. Um, let me see here. Uh, computer programming, I'm going to give that a four. And then stat purposes, I'm going to give that a four. And other purposes, I'm going to give that a one. Okay. Woo! Sorry, I went too far. And anyways, um, so then here for my index, instead of just adding up the values from each of these observed answers, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply a person's answer times that weight. And you can see right here that it's going to multiply BT3, this one right here, times BT27. And I'm going to keep it fixed at 27 by putting a dollar sign there. That way when I fill this down, it's always going to be looking at row 27, even if it's looking at a different row for the individual. Okay, and then you can see I've put parentheses around these, but the order of operations states that it's going to do multiplication before it does addition. So those are actually redundant. You don't have to put them in. But I was just demonstrating that you could put parentheses around each multiplication pair here and, and it and then have the addition between those uh, sets of items within parentheses. Or you could just rely on the uh, order of operations and you would get the same result. So anyways, um, the ni nice thing about this is instead of hard coding my multiplication of what I'm going to multiply um, each value by in here into the formula, I have it referencing a cell. So if I wanted, I could, um, for instance, change social networking to uh, 1.5 or 0.5. Let's make it 0.5 like that. And then all of these values, you can see now we have some 0.5s over here. They've all updated automatically uh, according to that weight. And I can turn, turn it back into a 1, and we can see that they change right away. So that would be allow me to explore the implications of different um, weightings of these items. And so I'm going to um, call this computer use weighted, and I'm going to copy um, copy these copy this um, variable. I'm going to add it to my histograms. Uh, I think I'm going to drop it in right here, but I'm going to paste special, right? Paste special values like that. And there it is. Oh, it's down a little bit lower, so I need to move that up so it's equal to the others. Boom there. And I'm actually interested in um, maybe how computer use is leading to confidence. So I'm actually going to grab these two I'm going to copy them. I'm going to create a new sheet and I'm going to um, drop them in there. And then I'm going to move confidence as the outcome of computer use weighted. And then I'm going to um, actually, I'm going to copy these, cover up my variable numbers. And then um, I'm going to make a scatter plot of that and see how that looks. Uh, so I'm going to insert. Uh, da, da, da. Scatter. Boom. Oh, yeah, and look, they're positive related, just like we might have expected. Um, oh, I'm going to get rid of this over here. Ah. All right, cool. And then I could add um, under format X and Y labels to that, but that is kind of interesting, the angle that's going out. All right, then. Um, oh, that's it for now.